Welcome to part 6 of the Truth and Reconciliation level on Legendary Difficulty for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. This is the doorway heading to the passageways going up to the third level of the hangar bay. And there's a group of enemies that will come out of it as soon as the door is open, so you want to clear them right away and then begin to clear all the enemies in the passageway and make your way up to the third level. Now as you come out the third level, this you want to grenade this open door, and if you do it right, all the enemies will die and the door just closes. And as soon as you get to this line right here, enemies will spawn and come out the door behind you that you just came through, and you want to meet them right away because there's another group that's working its way across from the other end of, the, of this uh, third level. This spot's actually kind of tricky to get right, so if you have to do it a few times, don't worry about it. Now when you get to this doorway, you want to take out these enemies right away. And there's a, an elite backing up these two jackals, and then there'll be another group coming up behind you again. Now right next to where I'm standing now is the control panel to release the Covenant ship that you're going to fly out on. As soon as these doors open, you want to take out this yellow elite as quick as you can. No one will be paying attention at this point, so it's the best time to do it. You want to try and clear the room quick because they'll all line up and you'll get a lot of fire coming in the doorway if you don't clear it quick. Now make sure you don't pass up this spot, it's easy to miss. I'm trying to avoid taking the, uh, the health pack for one bar.
This looks like the ship's command center. The captain's transponder signal is strong. We must be close. Getting some grenades here is helpful for later. Off. I do enjoy grenades. We must be in the brig. These look like holding cells. There are probably multiple detention stations. The captain must be in one of them. We need to keep looking for him. Now, as soon as you see the little indicator come up that it says, you know, to press a certain button, and then that'll unlock the doors, you can just press it, and there's a big delay. You only have to press it once, it, but the delay is confusing. It seems like it didn't react. There's invis there, some reloads, a health pack, so it's it's a spot to remember to go back to also. Now you can shoot these guys from down the hall and try and take them out with one shot. Or if you have invis, you can just do this. Another yellow elite, you want to take them out first. Happen to be an invisible elite that got caught in the shot too. There's the other invisible elite. So two invisible elites and a yellow elite when you enter the room and then after you get the captain there's two more invisible elites to come in you can see the big delay there for the doors to open uh, coming here was reckless you two know better than this thanks marines lock and load your weapons let's be ready to move okay, yes sir While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it... Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon. One with vast, unimaginable power. Yeah, that's true. Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gain control of it, They'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. sir. Okay, sir. Chief, you have the point. If only it stayed that way. Now that's the end for part six. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac.